In the case of emergency, like what we have here, a solid red light, which means that your basket no longer thinks it's locked into place, the machine will lock up. In case that happens, come down here, the man on the ground will come down here, open up the emergency aerial door down here, take the solenoid valve that's right here, push it in, twist it a quarter of a turn to lock it into place, and they can fly the machine by pure hydraulics without a computer or any of the sensors working. From left to right, we have turret rotation, scissors up and down, upper boom up and down, telescope in and out, jib, basket rotation, and basket leveling. If you run out of fuel, both down here and the basket has equipped a backup electric hydraulic pump, which can be used in conjunction with your normal controls. Keep in mind that these emergency controls down here are only for ground controls, and if you bypass the solenoid valve, it will not work in the basket or in the drive remote. You will have to use the manual controls down here. In the event you need to recover your machine, because the machine, say, thinks it's in aerial operation and it will not unlock the drivetrain, you can unlock the drivetrain to recover your machine from any customer's yard. From this door right here, you will need to bypass these two solenoid valves and this solenoid valve on the very top. Once you do that, these outer ones right here are for drive control. These four are your outriggers and the middle one here is tracks wide and narrow mode. In the event of a total machine failure with both the diesel engine and the backup electric hydraulic pump failing, you do have the option of a hand pump. The handle for the hand pump is located right here in front of the turret. The pump is located in the rear with your ground aerial controls. Your pump is right here. You also have a handle. It's located right here. That has two positions, A and B. If you want aerial operations, just look to the sticker right here. This is the position of the valve. All aerial operations is going to be to the right. And half of your drive and half of your outriggers and tracks wide narrow mode is all going to be to the right. The other half of your drive and your other two outriggers is going to be to your left.